So, would you like a warm towel over you? Yes. Yeah. Mm, there we are. Yeah. So, I'm just going to give your legs a little stretch. A little feel of your hips. How are they feeling now? Yeah? Good, that's that cupping. And how is this area feeling? I mean, it was all right. It felt okay before anyway. But I'm just going to give it a little TLC. In fact, what I'd really like to do is get my hand underneath, which might be tricky. So can I just try and... Oh, yep. Get there. That's it. Lovely. Okay. So... I know you're open-minded, you'll go with this. So I'd like you to tune into your heart energy. Mm. Think about a color. Are you seeing green. green? Now I want you to repeat three times with an out breath. Oh, that feels so much better. You see it shifting from side to side. Wonderful, it's not stuck anymore. All those upper thoracics. Fantastic. That's good. Okay, and let go. Lovely.
So we have feel of each cervical vertebra, checking its integrity in placement and the spinal processes. A little bit of tightness here. That's normal. Well, that shouldn't be, but it's very common. Yeah, okay. So this is probably why with the pitch roll and your test earlier on, this one was difficult to pass, probably because of this area here. But it's moving, it's moving, that's a good sign. Okay, around to the other side. Okay, and just checking this side of the spine, the neck from T1 up 7654321. Two is a bit tight, and then the, spro the processes like arms either side of each vertebra that stretch out supporting the neck like scaffolding. Again, it's the upper one, so it's about T2-3 that are fixed. They need to just loosen off and release their grip so that the muscle and soft fascia around them just let go and release. good and a little feel each side that's good so then the head is responding that's good it's moving like a wave like motion rather than a steel rod so it's moving wave like fantastic oh that's the one just let that go for a while so I've just got couple of fingers on the left side of C2 and I'm letting gravity do the work for me so that Helen's head will very slowly and gently release to the left as my fingers are pressing on the left side pushing right. It's going nice and slowly, like a hundredth of a millimetre at a time, just really, really gentle relaxation, letting go, letting go. Another little check what the neck's doing. And now a neck stretch by using the shoulder to lever a stretch on and around the neck. This is quite a strong stretch. And the other way, little bounce using my base 
base of my hand and rest into the corner of the neck shoulder, pushing down, using fingers into the base of the occiput, and then a nice stretch. This really helps with flexibility, mobility, any neck cricks and clicks should feel much looser after something like this. Yeah, lovely. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, another neck release. Working on that joint above C1, cervical one and allowing the head just to go heavy, 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 heavy. Release, release, release. is the base of the back of the head and the temporals are the side around the ear and sides of the head. And the two bones, occiput and temporals, have a connection, a strong connection with the very base of the spine, the coccyx, the base of the sacrum. They need each other to be well, and if not, then they won't be well themselves. So every time we treat the spine, we also make sure we treat the occiput and temporals. They're called Love It Brothers. So for every vertebra there is another bone or vertebra that needs attention. It's its brother. And this is coming loose, it's coming soft. There's a beautiful resonance, a lovely energy to it now, a beautiful softness, letting go, letting go. Okay, keeping your eyes closed, taking a nice long breath. And continue with the deep breathing. And send your awareness and your breath down to your feet. And now a little movement to the toes the balls, the soles, (sighs) 
and turning into the ankles, stretching out through the whole of the feet, turning, splaying the toes, stretching. And breathing this time down your arms to your hands, splaying the fingers, turning the wrists, widening the palms. Hmm. Taking ownership of your body, feeling connectedness. And breathe now to your shoulders, giving them a little turn. One way and the other. And then pressing your body into the couch, wherever you can feel contact. Perhaps your calves, your hips, shoulders. And then when you're ready, bringing your arms up over your head for a nice long body stretch. Okay, so when you're ready, you can open your eyes, come back into the room. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, you're just beautifully tranquil somewhere. So I'm going to just retest a couple that weren't happy earlier. We've already retested a few of the abdominal ones, so they're okay. Um, in fact, there was one abdominal one to retest. So it's here. Can you just put your fingers there? Can you use your other hand? Sorry. Yeah, and then give me a straight arm with your right arm and hold. Brilliant. Lovely. Okay. You are in a good place. So um, can I have this arm and this leg? I'm going to push and hold rock solid and I can tell it's no effort for you at all that was just easy good so that means it's um, the sacroiliac on this side is firing now it's all as it should be now this will be an interesting one your right lat dorsi I'm going to turn the arm, bring it down. I'm going to try pulling towards me and you're going to tuck your whole arm into your body and hold. Brilliant, so strong. Um, if I was to press now that same place that was sore earlier, how's that? It's fine. Okay, good, good. So another couple. Um, can you bend your knees and raise your head from the couch and give me this arm and hold. Lovely. So neck is good. That's the pitch. Um, I didn't particularly look. You can put your knees back down now. I didn't particularly look at your knee, ankle and opposite elbow because I've done other things. But if you come back, I'll probably pay more attention to those. Um, having said that, I'm going to test them and just see how they feel because they might have had the effect of the treatment, like the cupping. So I'm just going to have a little feel of your knee. And then can you raise your right arm? I'm going to push and hold. Okay, there's a slight, I'm being picky, but there's a slight give. So as I say, I would work on them next time and same again and hold no that's okay and then your left elbow same again and hold again slight with that one so i'll just make a note of it on your notes for next time so that's it we're done you feel okay yeah 
If you want to sit up nice and slowly, because it's been quite a treatment, you've been here for a while. I'm just putting the couch down. Okay. How are you feeling? Rejuvenated. Wow. That's so much Wonderful. I feel completely balanced. Lovely. Oh, I'm so pleased. A nice feeling. Yeah. I was going to say you. I, you're making me feel quite floaty. Just sort of ah, lovely. So you're yeah. going to just float for the rest of the day now. Mm. You got much planned? No. Not now. Nothing. <laughs> good. Good. Lovely. Okay. Well, thanks for coming in for Thank your treatment. You for Total pleasure. Lovely. Total pleasure. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I love you too.